Daniel. Woman of God, please help my sister. She cannot walk. She's in a wheelchair. Please help us. Woman of God, please, of God, please, please, please help my sister. Woman of God. My people, God too much, Joe. God is too much. Watch this woman's uh, pictures before and after Mama Evelyn Joshua uh, prayed for her. If you don't believe in God, you'll be forced to know there is God. God is the owner of our lives. God owns us. We don't own our, ourselves. Mrs. Anastasia at your way uh, said that some of her organs failed after she had a cardiac arrest um, sometime this year. During her admission in the hospital after the second uh, cardiac arrest, because she had the first one, this the last one that she uh, that made her to stay in a wheelchair was the second one. She was in the ICU intensive care unit, and after a series of tests, Mrs. Achiobe said um, she was diagnosed of um, heart failure, kidney failure, part of her lungs had uh, collapsed, anemia, pneumonia, almost all her body organs were failing. Hmm. My people, almost all her body organs were failing. My people, now God own our life, so when he go keep you, he go keep you. No sickness go ever take you. When God says you will live, you will live. There is no sickness that will come and take you suddenly like that because you are a child of God. And when God says yes, his yes is yes. When God says you're not going to die, you won't die. So whatever sickness that is keeping you bound, say no to the devil. You're even going to die. You shall live and testify the goodness of God in the land of the living. So as uh, Mrs. Achiewe said, almost her body organs were failing. When she got a bit better, she was discharged from the hospital. Remember, these problems started in June um, 2022. So she was discharged home in a wheelchair. In September 2022, Mrs. Atiwe said she saw Mama Evelyn Joshua in her dream. And after the encounter she had with Mama Evelyn Joshua, that gave her the courage to come to Synagogue Church of All Nations for prayers. So when she came to Synagogue Church of All Nations, Mama Evelyn prayed for her. As you can see, Mrs. Achiobe, she was in a wheelchair by the time she stepped in the um, Synagogue Church of All Nations environment. She was still in the wheelchair. She couldn't walk. This woman could not walk. This woman cannot stand. She was always in the wheelchair. Sometimes she sleeps in the wheelchair. Just to tell you how bad her situation was. When she had encounter with God of senior prophet T.B. Joshua, when the Spirit of God met with her through Mama Evelyn Joshua, my people, those sicknesses disappeared. Anemia disappeared. Inability to walk disappeared. You can see her in this video. She's now mobile. She can now walk around. She doesn't need the wheelchair anymore. This is what God can do. It is only God who can do this. Mama Evelyn Joshua couldn't have done this if not the Spirit of God in her. Anointing that God gave Mama Evelyn Joshua, that's what made her to heal this woman. So in this video, Mrs. Anastasia Atiobe 
visited Synagogue Church of All Nations live. You can see her in this video. She came on the 2nd of October, 2022. She came to Synagogue Church of All Nations for prayers and God did not leave her behind. God met her at a point of her needs because as she said, she had suffered a lot. From one problems to another, one problems to another. Even her enemies wanted to disgrace her in the bank where she went to do some transactions. In the bank, she went into cardiac arrest and she was rushed to hospital because God said it's not her time yet to die. She was revived. And again, the devil attacked her again. But now God said, no, enough is enough. You can't do that anymore. I have to stop you. You cannot do it anymore. So God directed her to Mama Evelyn Joshua. That's how she, she, she saw Mama Evelyn Joshua in her dream with a sword. And there Mama Evelyn Joshua intervened in her situation. Mama Evelyn Joshua came to rescue her in her dream and even life. Mama Evelyn Joshua delivered her by the power of the Holy Spirit. My people, if you are passing through the same problems, there is nothing God cannot do. I said this over and over again. All we need is faith. Because with your faith, you can move mountain. You can. Even those stumbling blocks, even those mountains that cannot be moved. I don't think a mountain can be moved. If you see them physically, you can't move them. But it's only God or senior prophet TB Joshua is the first and the last, the God of impossibility. The one who says yes and his yes is yes. His no is no. He's the only one who can move those mountains. Don't be scared. Go closer to God, my people. Run closer to God. Don't run from God, my people. If you are still far away from God, it's high time you run to God and make God your first and your last. Don't serve any other gods except him. You cannot serve two masters at a time. You have to worship one. Make God your first and your last. And every other thing will be given unto you. God will restore those wasted years. God will restore your life. God has the final say. God has the final say. When God says yes, no one can say no. Mama Evelyn Joshua prayed for this woman. This woman has been in the wheelchair since uh, she got uh, discharged. Uh, from the hospital sometime this year. As she said, it's been a very, you know, difficult year for her. She has been so, you know, down with so many illnesses. So in this video, Mama Evelyn prayed for her and hugged her. You can see how she stood from the wheelchair and began to walk after the prayer by Pastor Evelyn Joshua. What God has done in the life of this woman shall be permanent 
In the precious name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray. Amen. Look at this woman now. Look at how refreshed she is. Look at this woman smiling to the glory of God. This is what God can do when you trust God with your whole heart. God will do signs and wonders in your life. This woman came to Synagogue Church of All Nations to testify of what God has done in her life by using Pastor Evelyn Joshua to restore her health, to give her a good health. You can see this woman in this video smiling and even looking younger than her age. She looks like sweet sister here. But before, she looked like an aging woman. But now, she looks younger. This is what God can do in your life. When you dip yourself in our Lord Jesus Christ, He will give you a refreshing life. God will refresh your life. God will change your story. God will refine you, redecorate you. God will make things that, that was impossible in your life to be possible. My people, watch this woman, how she is. See this woman, she can now walk to the glory of God. This woman doesn't need a wheelchair anymore. She does not need that wheelchair because the God of senior prophet T.B. Joshua has healed her. So she came to church on Sunday to thank God of TV Joshua. You can see her here on Emmanuel TV. You can see her testifying of what God did in her life. God is powerful. My people, God is powerful. He's bigger than all my problems. He is bigger than everything. God is bigger than all my problems. I can't, can I see? I say he's bigger than all my problems. My God is bigger than all of them. God is bigger than every mountain. I can, can I see? Our God is bigger than all those problems you think that is weighing you down. Our Lord is bigger than all of them. Our Lord is more than all of them. All you need to do is to move closer to God, my people. Move closer to God. That's all you need. Look at this woman. I just saw her say, what? Are you sure say this person be that woman will come before come they cry? That woman will come look very, very old. I can't see I'm here. Hmm. I see this woman here. I didn't recognize her again. I said, well, this one a 16 years old woman. No, no be that woman I saw before. Eh? This is God for you. My people, thank you very much for watching this video. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I can't end my video without thanking you all. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And I say may God continue to bless each and every one of you that have heard my voice today. If you have watched any of my videos, even if you watch one second, it doesn't matter. May God bless you. May God continue to support you guys as you all are supporting me. You all are doing it willingly. I did not force anyone to, you know, watch my videos. It's just because of the kind of hearts you, you guys have. May God visit each and every one of you. Wherever you are located in this world, it doesn't matter. Distance is not a barrier. God will locate you. God will find you. 
you know, that area where you are tucked in, even if you're in the village like me, because where I live, I call it a village, you know, God will find you. Don't lose hope, my people. My sisters and brothers, don't lose hope. As I didn't lose hope, you will not lose hope. I trust in God, and God is doing his miraculous works in my life. If God can do it for me, God will equally do it for you. God won't forget you. God will locate you. My sister, God will locate you. My brother, God will locate you. God will find each and every one of you where you are. So don't lose hope. Trust God and all shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Tara, bye-bye.